This year, the campaign would like to collect 300 outfits to donate to an orphanage in Ekurulen in Gauteng. According to the founder of the campaign, uh, this is to offer children in orphanages the feeling and experience that every child treasures on Christmas Day. The, um, you know, the person behind the campaign joins us this morning. His name is Sitgalo Mbonani. He is the founder of the Trace and Orphan campaign. Sitgalo Sabana Buti, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you and good morning to you and the listeners. Thank you so much for coming through. What inspired you to come up with this initiative? So in 2014, you know, I wanted to do something good for, mm. for someone, for something, or for our country. Mm. Then I, I went around and I digged into myself and I noticed that in actual fact there's something I could do for orphans on Christmas because each and every child treasures that moment of Christmas walking out by that and in new clothes yeah. and then I went in to recollect my life and I noticed that in actual fact I became an orphan at the age of 18 but I didn't have that feeling of an orphan because my mom's friend Yvonne Modise took me as her child and she took care of me so I have never felt like mm -hmm. an orphan so I wanted to ensure that each and every orphan possibly could not fall as an orphan. Mm. That's why we decided and got inspired to do the, this project. Yeah, because it is indeed uh, every child's dream to you know, wake up and wear their new clothes on, on, on Christmas Day. But how has the campaign been? Are, are people really responding to, to your call to donate? People are, are, are <coughs> responding. We get to lose some now and again. Currently, we lost about 13 donors for for this campaign, but we are trying to regain that. Mm. But there's Reasonably, more. Is it perhaps the current economical state of things in South Probably Africa? Probably yeah. they overspent and you know, now they cannot buy. Mm. Different reason for different individual, but it has been going well. And from the orphans perspective, you know, the experience we have each and every time we meet them, you know, they are ones who keep the notes. We write messages to them. They keep the notes and show us a year later that this th was the note I got last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so happy, you know. We just use clothes to make a change in somebody's life, you know. It goes longer than the clothing on mm -hmm. Christmas. It gives them the idea and the feeling that somebody out there cares about me. Yeah. I'm human enough and I can Sense belong. Sense of love and appreciation. Yes, mostly. I belong in this yeah. world, you know. Yeah. I'm not just an orphan. Mm. But then, who are the, your main donors? Is it perhaps the corporate world or individuals? Currently, we have individuals who are donating each outfit for some by more than one, for more than one kid. And we're hoping, you know, we're speaking this year with some corporates for having the Christmas lunch done. But they haven't responded and they had promised us. So and it's Christmas in two days. And Christmas in two <laughs> days. I hope Morning yeah. Life will probably get somebody watching to, yeah. to help us with the lunch. Yeah, no, we believe so. So you were telling me earlier on that uh, this year you're focusing in Ekuruleni. So are you moving around all the municipalities in, in Gauteng? When we started the campaign, I started in Sankane where I was born and bred. And then I, second year, adopted another township next to us. And then this year we wanted to cover the entire Krulene and we did. Mm -hmm. We have orphanages across the Krulene. And next year we hope to cover another municipality or the entire Gauteng, depending on the response we have from donors. Yeah, and for this year you were looking at uh, collecting about 300 outfits? Yes, have you collected that or is it no we halfway there, halfway there. we're 168 yeah so we're hoping to get more if possible by tomorrow all right but for someone who's watching from home or any of our viewers would like to become part of this uh, initiatives perhaps to donate some how do they go about getting in contact with you so what needs to happen is if you want to donate an outfit you just email us on dress and often at gmail.com or you call me directly on 081-468-2425. Then what you'll get is a form with the kids' details, and then you go shopping as quickly as possible, and then deliver the outfit to us or post it, if possible, tomorrow. And those who want to help us do the lunch successfully, they can just call me also, and then <laughs> contribute, whether it's food or entertainment, things like jumping castles, yeah. toys. Because you're also hosting a Christmas uh, lunch for them for the first time this for year. For the first time yeah. this year. So we want them to get toys. You know, we have an amazing game. 
uh, amazing game where they'll be in search of the toys so mm. we want more toys so that each and everybody has a toy, a toy yeah. and there's balloons and all that that is required by kids on on uh, party um, this is a beautiful initiative thank you so much and good luck hopefully in two days time things would go your way I believe so. Things will go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There you have the contact details on your screen. Dress and often at uh, gmail.com for more information or if you'd like to become part of the initiative or rather to donate as Ustrelo has already elaborated. Well, we're taking a